good everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel so i was just going through all my playlists and i just noticed that i haven't talked about what a template or talked about templates in revit architecture so in today's video i'm just going to be going through the basics of what a template is in revit okay to start by explaining a template i'll start by defining it a template is a setup in a platform or a software to make work easier for specific purpose so it's like a setup of preset instruction or preset modulus just to make things easier for you while working in a set software or platform so i'm going to go to microsoft word and i'm going to just use it to kind of illustrate what a template is so for instance we have this blank document over here where we can just create a blank document and start from the scratch we also have some other setups here like agency agency letter agency report res resume letter newsletter and so on so all these are templates set for to make these specific purposes easier for instance if you want to do a resume you could just click on it and you will start working from this already set template form immediately so bringing it into revit architecture and let me just open revit 24 now on this system okay so now we've opened the revit interface we can actually use the revit interface and explore what templates revit have for us when we click on this new to open a new project in revit template file we could they will give us an option to actually select between templates you can select from construction template architectural templates and all these other templates which is all fine and good but as people aiming to inculcate ourselves more into the BIM process, we should always aim in creating our own custom template in Revit. And to do that, we we'll just need to click on this new. Instead of project, we are going to click on this project template and we are going to click on architectural template and click OK. So now this gives us an opportunity to actually create our own template using Revit and create it to our default template. So you can always go to the annotation for instance and just click on this dimension. Then we could just edit the dimension and duplicate it and we could create a new one. Let's name it 01 and we're just going to save it. Then let's change some parameters in this dimension just for the sake of changing and let's just leave it then we could just go and draw a line just for sample then i'm going to go to annotate and use the set dimension i just created that is zero one to dimension this so currently we have this blue dimension and we have this box if i click on save that is ctrl s i'll have opportunity to save this template so i could go to and save it on my desktop and save it as template one by doing this after i save this project if i want to open a new revit project and i close this i could go and click on open or rather i could go and click on new then instead of selecting from these options of custom templates in revit i'll just click on browse and i'll go to my desktop to actually pick a template and this is the template one we just created now and just open it and click ok so we have used the template we just created as our template file for this new project if you want to advance in beam as a whole and advance your pro in the use of revit and as an architect it's always good to create your own template custom to your style of design and the character or the identity of your firm or office so it's always good to take your time work on a template edit all the dimensions put all the type of or the predominant type of walls you use put the windows or put the necessary families put all the annotations and put all the families you want to put in that template so anytime you are working again you easily be able to use that template and work easily because you will not need to start setting the template up from scratch again you could also convert existing files to templates and this is how you simply do it you could just go and close this now and i want to open one of my old files so let me just open this duplex so we can see this whole project here as this project is like this we could actually convert it to a revit template to do that we could easily go to file we could now go to save us and we could go to save us project template then we'll go and save it in that desktop again and save it as template 2 
after this will take some time because the project is heavy so now we are going to close this and we are going to try and open a new project so we are going to click on new then instead of clicking this construction template we are going to go to this browse and we are going to just set the template you just created as the template so i'm just going to click ok so as you can see this building this model as a whole has already become a template so everything i set as this model now is now a starting point to execute my future project if i want to be using this template and another thing you should know is you could also transfer templates from project to project in revit i've covered it on a prior video but i'll still show you guys again to do that we'll just close this and we're just going to create a new project with architecture default templates then we are going to go to file again and open another um, project so now these two projects are open all you need to do is to go to this new project go to this manage tab over here then go to transfer template or transfer project standard then click on it then it will show you the other opened project where you transfer the template from then you just check all the parameters you want to transfer it if you don't want to transfer some aspects like the wire sizes you can uncheck it but we could just leave all of them checked and we could just click ok then while it's loading you will see this option to override the duplicate components of this old default template that is also in this newer template so you just override it for it to update everything now when it has completed you see that all the properties of this other project is now applicable in this new project i created for instance if i go to the dimension and click annotate i could see all the dimensions i created in this other project thus the template has been successfully transferred so if you have any more questions on templates in autodex revit you could drop it in the comment section below don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to this channel for more content like this you could also check out my tutorial series on d5 render and also my other tutorial series on lumion lumion and also on revit as well so please support our channel we really need your support especially in these times stay safe on your own part and have a nice day thank you very much